sat down to this, I was talking with my friend Shana, Shana Lines Designs, um, yesterday, and I, she has a couple of designs that I have been like, they're designed for, you know, hand dyed yarn, but I was trying to figure out like, how would I integrate Spin Cycle into some of her designs? And this was what I pulled out as an idea for one of them. And some of my Surrey, which she did not call for Surrey. And then some of these, these, this is just like a palette. I'm kind of in love with it. And like if you all, oh, it's just, just the desk is crazy. These are first two days of advent of those two. And all my advents in my little cozy sitting corner that I'll be able to enjoy maybe later today. <clears throat> I'm opening advents, so you can chew. <laughs> I was just gonna ask to keep the clearing to a minimum. I wish I could put the video. <laughs> that's staying in. That's that's gonna stay in. Like this is all gonna stay in. Okay. Um. Okay, so we are gonna open Advent calendars day three. This is dandelion and dogwood. I think that I can see it's a bright pink. It is. This is Harlow Carr. Beautiful. I cannot wait to see all those together. Um, this is Artemis. Did you? This is, I don't have the name sheet with me, but. It's a beautiful, like, kind of grayish brown with some mustardy golds. Um, let's see, we have Gren Grenoyi. I think. Um, ooh, this is very pretty. We are definitely fading towards some blues, which is really nice. It's kind of a slate, but a little bit like a brighter slate blue. I don't even know how to say that name, but that's okay. That's the name. Very pretty. And then the Suburban Stitcher, day three is very pale gray. Um, so I'm gonna get this wound up so I can add it to my, I'm still staying on track with my shawl. So this is days one and two. I made a mistake yesterday, I'm not ripping it out. This is day one and day two. And then here's my little bit lighter gray. So we'll go right there. You can see I, I was off with my knits and pearls right here and I, I'm just gonna live with it. It's gonna be okay. And I'm gonna start weaving in my ends today so that it's not a nightmare at the end. These are the screenshots that iMovie wants to save for all of my most recent tapes. This is the one I just edited. This is December 1st. That one's not horrible. That one's not horrible. What am I doing? So, like, what the heck, iMovie? They really are 
given me some gems there. Just getting back I don't know how to hold this thing it's like a weird angle no matter what you do we are just getting back from baseball game Nick had games at five and seven today I went to the five o'clock game with Jack it was freezing cold and we left <laughs> and we went and got Thai food and came home <laughs> Josh is there with Nick um, yeah, it's, it's too cold. I've gotten a couple of questions about some items in my house that I thought I would ask because they've been like the same ones. I think people were asking about this planter. I just moved all my Christmas cactuses here because they need more light and they also need to make sure that I water them. <laughs> they were like a little bit not getting great water and light. Anyway, um, this, these vases, where are they? Ooh, how do I turn here? This one. I think this is the one that several people asked me about. I got it recently from At Home, and um, I love it. I think it's the Gracie. There's a couple of like collect, like so and so for At Home. Like they have a Ty Pennington and a. It's like Grace Mitchell, I think is one of them. That might be hers, but anyway, they were just, I don't even know what section, but I have this one that's a larger one. And I literally just dropped in the, um, the little thing. And then I have another one over here, a smaller one on the table right here that I use for my tissue. Let me show you. see so what I did is I opened up the square boxes of like tissue Kleenex and they're already folded like that on the inside of the square box and so then I just recycled the square and put it in here and so this time of year when you have to have tissues out I don't like the like covers I don't know I just, I just never see any that I like the, I, the ones that I like are either $100 <laughs> or they're like cheesy. So I did this. <laughs> it's the same thing and I think it's way cuter. So um, yeah, so that was a question. Somebody asked about the little plaque that I have behind our stove. It's like a Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus and that's from like Michael's or um, Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby or one of those like big box craft stores like 10 years ago like I've had it for a very long time um, 
And then there was one other question. Oh, I know what it was. It was a question about trivet. Sorry, weird views of my face. These. And this um, is a wool, felted wool trivet that I got from Trader Joe's also like two or three years ago. This is the little plaque that I got. I want to say it came from Joann's, but honestly, I don't know. I've had it for a decade, I think a very long time. Um, yeah, so today we just did baseball. There's my bread. It's so good. Um, we did baseball and I did finish my, I zoomed a little bit with my local knit group. I'd finished my section three. So I'm up to date with my advent project. And then I've been pulling this back out. This is a advent project that I started in 2019 with my advent that I had that year. And then also just a bunch of other scraps and minis. And I really just haven't been working on it that much. Obviously it's still on the needles four years later, but I'm, this is why rather than starting a new thing, which I may do in a few days, once I kind of see a few more days of color with what I'm opening now, but anyway, um, I'm just, I'm really enjoying this. And so I feel like, you know, rather than start a new project, I might just still feel kind of adventy and scrappy knitting with with this project so this is fun this is the wavy wiggles by stephen west and it's not an advent project per se but um i took a class from him in 2019 and saw his original version of this he knit one scrappy and then one faded and i loved his super scrappy version just so stripey and all of the texture like I am knitting Surrey and just randomly and lots of just bright minis and all the fun color and texture. Let's see this bag is like a cacophony of color. So um yeah that's that's what's going on. Um, I need to close my blinds. I'm also like, these are so close to opening. I bought three amaryllis bulbs this year, varieties that I've never had before. Let's see. I did keep the cards. We'll see when they open if they look like this. So I have one striped Amadeus. I have one Aphrodite and one Apple Blossom. I don't know which one is which. I don't know. I, I don't know which one is which of these bulbs. The um, Striped Amadeus I'm really excited about because it almost looks like a ruffly. So I'm excited to see that one in person. But yeah, all of them. So we'll see, one of them is close. Close-ish to opening. So I hope that's, that happens soon. Um, really, that it was kind of a boring day today. It was just working all morning. I wound yarn, we, print, we um, labeled and, packaged a bunch of fade club to ship out and the rest of it will get um ready for t for it will get ready tomorrow and then it'll all get picked up on monday um that's really it we did that and then i zoomed with my local group and then i went to baseball so it's just kind of a low-key family day around here um and i've been chatting for eight minutes that's stupid you don't, you're not here for chats. <laughs> Maybe you are, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna 
say good night to you guys. And um, I'm going to work a little bit on this and maybe watch a Christmas movie, maybe a Hallmark movie. I don't know. Or maybe just more Vlogmas on YouTube. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow.